Hi everyone, this video is the part 2 of CI-CD setup for Azure Data Factory using GitHub Actions. In the previous video, we went through the concept and detailed instructions of how to get the basic setup working. We went through the CI-CD workflow. We went through setting up the federated credentials, the GitHub Actions. We also went through uh, the build and release script and we also had a demo of everything working in action now in this video the next step is basically to address the most fundamental scenario which is associated with linked services the problem statement for this video is that you have a dev data factory you have a couple of linked services which are pointing to your dev data resources for your pipelines this could be your sources your targets connecting to dev database dev data lake etc but when the code gets migrated or pushed to test adf then the test adf by default might still be pointing to your dev data sources so what we want to do instead is that when we migrate the code the linked services automatically should start pointing to our test data sources equivalent test data sources or targets now for the demo I have created these resources I already had dev and test data factories I have created dev and test data lakes now so go to dev data lake and in the default container I have two folders input and output in the input folder I have kept one sample CSV and in the output I do not have anything at all and uh, likewise i have the similar structure in the test data lake as well input and output and in the input folder as well i have kept uh, population csv and what we want our dev data factory to do is to go to the input folder pick up this population.csv and move to output folder so when we do that let's come to the data factory create a linked service for our data lake storage account azure data lake link service and i will enter this detail manually so you need your storage account name dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net for dev this will be my url and for the dev i have already copied the storage account key which i am going to paste here test successful so link service which is fine let's create data sources now one we will create for the input and one for the output let's take the delimited CSV population input this is a data set so let's say ds this input i'm selecting the file itself we don't want to import any schema we just want to copy the file from one place to the other and this is done let's clone this and name it as output and change the path so we want to copy this file to the output folder let's not give it a name and we are good and we're good So we have the two datasets ready. 
let's create a new pipeline let's name it as pl move population data that's it copy data activity and let's configure the source and target that we just created input and output that's it this is the basic setup that we want to do i guess that's it uh let's push it to main branch and let's see what happens i am creating a pull request able to merge create pull request type something meaningful here merge confirm delete the branch okay so this is done so in the main branch now we should see our pipeline yeah it's in the main branch now and our github action should also have started yes it is it is working in the meantime this does its job let's try and uh, run this one uh, so this is our dev data lake there is nothing in the output folder in the input folder we have this file let's execute this pipeline yeah it is done let's see if the data has moved to output folder yes so this is in the output folder now so pipeline works in the dev data factory now let's go to the test data factory and see if anything has come in at all okay the action is still running okay the action has completed let's look at our test data factory now yes so we have this pipeline and data set and our link service where is this pointing if you look at this so this is our test data factory and this is still pointing to our dev data lake and let's see if the connection works the test connection will not work because i have not assigned the permissions to test data factory to access the test data lake i had assigned the permission for dev data lake to dev data factory and the test data lake to test data factory so of course this will not work and if we try to run this pipeline you know it is going to fail because it cannot access that environment now this is the problem that we want to address now let's go back to our workflow main file um before we actually go there let's look at uh let's look at the previous action this one download these artifact ones now let's check this file i have just extracted the artifact folder and uh, this is what i see so go to this file and open with visual studio code you see these parameters so you have the factory name this is the name you have this account key and this is the your uh, url which is being passed now this is the url of our dev data lake what we want to do is we want to use this property in our npm file in the additional parameter section i will go to the file now but i am just copying these two keys first this one and this one so this is our data lake url and this is our account key 
uh, which is blank here we will store the account key in github secrets but let's make a copy of this somewhere in the notepad now i am back in my github i have the two keys copied already and in my github go to settings and in secrets and variables go to actions so we are storing credentials for our actions uh, so in the actions we had already saved these credentials in our previous video this is the credential that i have saved for our test data lake uh, so how you get your secret again is you you can just go to your test data lake go to your key access key and um, show and then copy it and then paste it there this is what i have pasted in the in this secret now going back to actions uh, now we need to change this yaml file to include our those parameters for the url and the key now let's create another branch in our github to update our yaml file i am not making a change directly in the main branch so i will create a new branch let's say update yaml and switch to this branch go to workflows main yaml and i am going to update the file here itself okay just uncomment this one and paste your type url key so here i have pasted my key account key and i'm accessing this from secrets dot test data lake secret that we had just saved it is the same way that we were accessing client id tenant id etc and using the other key for the url we are passing the test data lake url here you see this one and this is all we need to do for this to work let's commit the change and done now let's merge this with our main branch create pull request confirm and that's it we can delete this branch now now let's look at the action if it has started yes it has started i'm gonna pause this video now okay this is completed now this took unusually long time for some reason uh, but this is done and all the steps are successful uh, so now let's go to our test data factory and see if this works now uh, okay let's directly check the link service first go to the link service and yes you see this url has changed and the storage account key also must have been replaced let's do a test correction yeah so this is successful which means that our setup works we can try this now in test adf pipeline has started the default uh, output yes so this has arrived just now 10 seconds ago 
this is completed and our data has been moved which is good so this worked as expected uh, but if you have a ton of data sources this may not be the cleanest uh, or recommended way to uh, keep passing so many parameters in this file uh, one way is that we could create a parameter file and we access the parameters from there and when it comes to the credentials uh, the recommended way is to use Azure Key Vault and uh, if we use Azure Key Vault then our git setup uh, is even simpler than what we've done just now and uh, you will just need to parameterize the name of your key vault and uh, if you have i mean secrets and everything will be referenced automatically for the equivalent uh, environments so uh, but if you need a video on that please do comment on this video and i can create a quick one on this topic as well but as far as the scope of this video is concerned uh, we have seen that our setup has worked as expected thank you very much consider subscribing if you liked this video thank you very much